Photoshop just released some new features, and some of these features are in Adobe Photoshop Beta. But right now, they're publicly available in the regular version of Photoshop. First update is the adjustment brush right here. Now, the idea is simple. So, let's say I want to brighten up my subject. So, instead of coming to my adjustment right here, click on brightness and contrast, and just increase it like this. After I increase it, invert this mask by pressing on Command I and Control I to invert the mask, and then just paint on my subjects to brighten it as you can see, like this. So with the adjustment brush, instead of going through all this process, all you have to do is just pick the adjustment brush, change the adjustments to brightness and contrast. From here, you can change the hardness or the size. And all you have to do is just paint on your subject and it will automatically brighten the subject for you, as you can see. And from here, you have the ability to reduce the contrast, reduce the brightness or increase the brightness and not just that you can also select some parts of the image automatically so if i put my adjustment brush tool and with this selection tool right here i can just make a selection of where i want to adjust so if i just hover around this flower right now I just make a selection of this flower it's just going to automatically select that flower for me all right and from here i can make adjustments to that flower right there also i can do the same thing for my subject I can just pick this selection tool with the adjustment board selected and just select my subjects like this and it will automatically detect my subjects for me right and from here i can just move the adjustment like so so if you want your selection to be visible you can just turn on this overlay right here to show your selection and turn it off to hide your selection and not just for the brightness and contrast so let's say i want to change the color of this yellow right here so what i have to do is pick my adjustment brush tool and under the adjustment, I'm just going to change it to hue and saturation adjustment. Once I change it, I can just paint on this yellow color right here. So I'm going to click on show overlay so that I can see where I'm brushing. So once I paint on that yellow color, I can just come to my yellow saturation and just change the color like this, as you can see. So I can reduce the saturation and also I can play with the lightness just like that so we have different adjustments to choose from so we have the brightness we have the levels we have the curves we have the exposure we have the vibrance so basically all the adjustment layers we have right here we can do them with the adjustment brush so that's the first photoshop update now the second update is the brush selection tool so under this lasso tool if i just click on it i'm going to see the brush selection so with this brush selection I can just paint on anywhere I want to make any adjustment on. So if I paint on this place right here, so after making installation on that place, I can just come to my adjustment layer and just add any adjustment. I'm just going to be affecting only that particular place which I select. And that thing I can do with this my brush selection tool. If I make a selection of my subject, so I'm going to make a rough selection of my subject like this. Okay. So I can just come to my move tool. And just move my subject around like this so this is the second update i'm not really sure how to use it i'm not sure i'm going to be using this brush selection tool because i really don't know how it works for now so maybe later in the future i might start using it but for now i'm not really sure if i'm going to use this brush selection tool right here and the third new feature inside of photoshop is the test to image powered by adobe firefly image still model now with the new firefly image still model Test to image are now looking more realistic and more detailed. So I generated this image from scratch. You can see how realistic it is and how detailed it is. So this is the um, first option, the second option, and the third option. So I went with this first option. And also, I generated this one as well. So this is the first option, the second option, and the third option. And with this new feature, you also have the ability to obscure the details. So if I just click on this place right here, it's going to tell me to enhance detail so, so from now on any test to image you make instead of photoshop is going to be more realistic now for the fourth feature i don't even know what to call this feature so let's just call it photoshop number listing arrangement feature all right so let me show you how it works so if i come to my test tool so let me just write to do list to do list all right and just arrange it and hit okay so if i just come here i write number one let's say retouching so if I just click on this return key, it will automatically put number two for me. So I'm just going to write sleep. And for number two, I'm going to write photo session. Now, unless I don't want to make retouch my number one list and I want to make video editing my number one list, all I have to do is just click on this retouch right here. Now, unless I don't want to make retouch my number one anymore and I want to make video editing, all I have to do is just click on this retouch right here. 
I just click on return and it automatically put photo session to number four and I can write video editing as my number one. Those are the new features inside the latest version of Photoshop. Now seriously, I really don't see myself using any of those features right now. Maybe just the adjustment brush, I can be using that for now. But the rest of the features, I really don't see myself using them. So let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts. And also, if you want to learn how to use Photoshop to edit your image or to retouch your image, check out this playlist right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.